Welcome back to Jack Turner Stadium. We are still in the first inning. And now it's our turn to have a swing right at it. At the top of this Georgia lineup that has produced 15 runs in this series over the first two games. Ten of those coming off of four homers. Sarah Mosley, of course, with her first career grand slam yesterday. It's probably also good that Kayla Beaver induces ground balls against this Georgia team because if it's in the air, watch out. It's like on Friday night with the L.A. Armistead home run off of her. A little bit elevated, Armistead elevated out of here. I mean, coming into the series, Kayla Beaver had only given up five earned runs this entire season. And then on Friday night, she gave up three. Just walked a couple, had a couple of strikeouts. These Georgia hitters are tough to strike out. They have really good pitch selection, really good plans at the plate. And Lindy Ray Davis, <laughs> when talking with Tony Baldwin, has been a game changer over the last eight games since moving into the leadoff spot. Done a terrific job setting the table for this dangerous and veteran-laden Georgia offense. 3-1 is foul. She just is so patient at the plate. A couple of walks off of Beaver on Friday night. But since she's moved to that leadoff spot, what, about just over a week ago, like the way that she's been getting on base, high on base percentage because of her eye, and just this season has had so many clutch hits for this team. Davis to the left side. A spinning throw from Dowling. And out number one recorded by the time. Well, Tony Baldwin. Tony Baldwin is the head coach of the softball team. Their only loss so far this year at Jack Turner Stadium was to a top 25 Virginia Tech team. Couldn't have asked for a better start to SEC play than what he's seen over the first two games here in this series. Yeah, his, to me, his team has just looked really free this weekend. Had very confident, sure plans at the plate. They know what they're looking for. They're swinging at good pitches. And if there's a mistake, it just seems like they're not missing often at all. Mosley off the end of the bat and a flare into the mid of Hevelin, two gone. You'll hear all the little girls, the little softball players who are in the stands. I mean, any ball that is hit in the air, they, you'll hear their little voices get so excited. Even the one just off the end of the bat, easy out for Heflin over at second base. But this Georgia crowd is always full of youth and young softball players, especially on a day like Daddy Dogger Day today. Jada Kearney at the dish, two down. Well, we said at the top of the show they're expecting a record crowd. The rows of people standing are about two and three deep on the concourse because there are no more seats available in the grandstands here at Georgia. Kearney, a pop-up right side. Will it get out of play? Yes, it will. And, of course, you know, Alabama has such a great following, too. So a lot of these fans are definitely Georgia fans, but Alabama has one of the best following. And this fans is the University of Georgia fans over here. And for, we have some fans from the University of Alabama. That's Jada Kearney. It's also one of my favorite players from the University of Georgia softball team. She's also a senior as well. Kearney, this one will stay in the field of play. Tracking it is Hevelin in foul territory. And a 1-2-3 inning for Kayla Beaver in her second start of the series. And we've ended the first inning. Second inning will be next when we return.